Welcome to the world of Weatherby. I'm Brett, and you're in my world. Today we have some country style ribs. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna season them up with some of our tavern mustard we're gonna put on top of it. And then we're gonna add some, uh, ball. I don't know which one to choose from. I think I'm gonna use Southwest today. And we're gonna put them on our smoker. You can put them on your grill. You can put them in your oven. Any way you want to do it. I just happen to have smokers. And I like smoke flavor. I don't like a whole lot of smoke flavor. I like a kiss of smoke. And to me, that's is good. But it's what we'll do is we'll smoke them for about an hour and a half, 225. Uh, that should give them some good smoke. Probably go two hours on them. And then I'll probably put them in a small aluminum pan and I could either add um, some pineapple juice or some apple juice. And then I'll brush the tops of them with a little barbecue sauce. I'll cover that with foil and let it steam for about an hour. And then I'll pop the foil off and we'll cook it for about another half hour Brush some more sauce on top of it, let that sauce firm up, and we're gonna eat good. But I hope y'all doing good. Lord knows, and willing, I'm working on it. It's been a rough couple of weeks. But I guess we've all had a rough few weeks lately. So, it's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stir this up a little bit. This is, like I say, our tavern mustard. And I'm just gonna rub this on top there. And it's what this will do is it'll give it a little more actual flavoring. And it'll also help with our rub sticking to it. Just like we did ribs. Um, it's always good. Mustard, olive oil. Um, you could actually, Use mayonnaise. Don't need a whole lot. Little goes a long way. And just make sure all those sides are coated good. Pretty simple. I hope y'all enjoy our videos. I'm working on it. You know, I'm not trained to do this. I'm not professional. Half the time I'm winging this. It's something new. Uh, last video, it was like somebody asked me about the spatch cut turkey and I was like I ain't never done that before in my life you know but it was uh, it was fun and it turned out good we liked it okay southwest rub boys and girls we're gonna finish up this jar you can always find it mm -hmm, anywhere this rub I made for to go on uh, Regular baby back ribs or St. Louis ribs, whatever you want to call it. You can use it on beef ribs. You can use it on brisket, French fries. Think about it. Just whatever you like it. Um, I mean, we all have our different flavors. And I like playing with them. The flavors, that is. Now we can let these things sit for a couple hours. We can let them sit 20 minutes. We can let them sit for an hour at room temperature. And that way they kind of warm up and get ready for the smoker. Or you can take them to pop them straight in your oven. If I cooked them in the oven, I'd probably cook them on a little higher temp. Keep a closer eye on them. And cover them up maybe a little sooner. Now, we have country ribs ready for the smoker. Catch us on the smoker. Okay, we just pulled uh, the country ribs off. As you can see, we kinda put them up in that pan like we were talking about. We put a little apple juice in there. We covered it and we cooked it for about another hour. So they've been on there for about three and a half hours. Two hours of smoke. Are covered and then we uncovered it 
Then we added our barbecue sauce to it. And this is the finished product. Now we're gonna sit back and we're gonna sample it. Okay, you saw our country ribs. See, I can't even think here. It's not even time to start, I'm, you know, hell, I'll start drinking. That's maybe a little something else too. Anyway, you saw what it looked like. I went in deep. Now the way it's gonna pull them apart, look at it. It's just falling apart more or less. Got a decent smoke ring to it, considering it's kind of hard to get a smoke ring. Mmm, so tender, so flavorful. I'm going back for seconds. I'm gonna do some good eating tonight. Might even have a little leftover for tomorrow. But anyway, thank you all for coming by. Go to our webpage, weatherbyrubs.com. Stop in our store, pick up some product. We'll get it out to you as fast as possible. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share us with your friends. Help me spread the word. I'm just a little guy trying to get up one more step. Uh, and that's what we got to do. We all got to get in here and everybody needs to work extra hard now. We got to get things rolling in this country. We've been on lockdown too long and it's just time to do it. And that's why I'm here and that's why I start these videos. I thought it'd be a perfect time to introduce myself to you. Ask me questions, send me emails. Tell me what you want to see on our channel and we'll do our best to get it to you. You notice that we like our Traeger grills. We use them every weekend. We have a boatload of them. It's stupid how many grills I have. Uh, I'm not going to tell you the words I hear from some people about it. Uh, it's an addiction, uh, but I like good food. I like to make flavors go different directions. Uh, I want a little heat, but then I don't want a little heat. I don't like my tongue on fire where I can't taste the next bite of something else. So we don't use a lot of heat in our products. Our Bold and Spicy does have heat to it, but if you don't use as much, you don't get as much heat. It's that simple. Our mustard has a little nasal clearing uh, background to it, and um, it's really good on bratwurst, and you've seen me use it on a couple of products like this one here today. Uh, you know, I just, I could go on and uh, we can tell you stories, but as you get to know me, you'll get to know my stories. So until next time, have a sweet week and work hard. Let's get rolling. Thank you.